Hello everybody and uh, a happy new year. Uh, today we have a nice treat here and uh, it's a new exact rail coil shield car for Conrail. So I uh, was lucky to get my hands on the first batch of seven cars but uh, I will show you in a few seconds I was not so happy and uh, it was a bit a bit uh, disgusted about the etched metal walkways so as you can see it's warped again like the inter mountain cars I have let on second show you the other side and it's even worse as it's uh, not the only car uh, I have a second that's identical with the uh, warped walkways. I have a second one, you can say, okay, uh, uh, I will accept this, but uh, as everybody knows with this price tag of these cars um, that don't, uh, that don't uh, have to happen uh, this way and uh, again I don't know if this happens in the transit here to Germany and uh, maybe it has something to do with the temperature differences, I don't know. Uh, but if it isn't so, and I will say it's again a quality uh, check issue and uh, I already uh, emailed ExactRail about this uh, because I'm uh, not satisfied with this car. Uh, and I guess uh, any one of you will agree with me that's not uh, a car with this price tag you will accept it. Otherwise I will say uh, it's a, a fantastic car, awesome details and it's a very unusual car so that's it's, it's a, a different thing. I like this car very much I can show you some some of the details. It's awesome the rigging of the pipes and etched metal walkways at the brake reservoir. Very nice. The lettering also awesome crisp. Very fine. And it came also with uh, 36 inch wheel sets on the side. Also, uh, factory installed KD couplers, but uh, it's always with a sack rail. Um, one other thing it's uh, the cover. I thought uh, you can uh, take off the cover as. Uh, with the cars from Con uh, sorry red caboose you can take the covers off but at this car you can't take the cover off it's uh, glued on I guess and I wouldn't uh, try it with force so I let it this way but anyway as the word says con sh coil shield car uh, it carries uh, coils that have to be protected for uh, rain and other things because the coils are not rust uh, protected from the factory. So anyway, uh, also on, on videos on YouTube you see the cars from Conrail always with the covers on so that's no big difference or no big issue. Um, one further thing, I awaited the car and my scale comes not uh, over 110 grams and it's a bit too light for this car if you compare it to the NRMA formula so it has to be somewhere about 130-135 grams but uh, I guess on the rails uh, it won't be make a big difference so 
that's also a point you can neglect it that's not so important um, other thing is I read somewhere on the Conrail Society that's a build date on some cars are not correct but that's rivet counting and only for guys who really into this and exact can say about on photos okay this car is built on that date and the model won't uh, give the exact uh, build date here on this model cars but again that's rivet counting and it's not so important for me anyway I keep you informed how uh, work progress with uh, exact rail in this matter uh, maybe there are other guys out there who have already uh, gotten these cars maybe it's interesting to see if they have the same problems with the walkways and it would be nice if anyone can make a comment about this maybe I'm the only one as with the uh, Intermountain covered hoppers so I'm be very interesting I'm if I am the only one who has these issues with this car anyway um, I will recommend this car because it's what I said very unusual and for guys who like steel mill operations it's it's a very nice very nice car and you won't see it often on a model railroad layout so it's worth to buy it okay thanks for watching as I said if you leave a comment please do so and thanks for watching bye